Big trees across South Africa are being killed by a beetle no bigger than a peppercorn. The polyphagous shot hole borer, native to Southeast Asia, has landed in South Africa and is causing absolute havoc. It is yet unknown how the beetle ended up in South Africa. However, one thing is clear, they are reproducing at an alarming rate. We're now chatting to Professor Marcus Byrne, an IG Nobel Prize winner and entomologist at the University of Witwatersrand, to find out more. Professor Byrne, thank you for joining us. Thanks. What is the polyphagous shot hole borer? It's actually a very cool little beetle, believe it or not. Um, and of course, these things are cool when they're in somebody else's backyard, not in yours. <laughs> But it's what's known as an ambrosia beetle. It's a small beetle, as you said, about the size of a peppercorn, that lives in the bark and the living tissue of trees. And it drills holes into the trees to make a nest for itself, which is fine. But unfortunately, it carries a fungus with it, which is the ambrosia. And this is a symbiont. So the two organisms live in um, close harmony with each other. And the beetle infests the tree with the fungus and then the fungus feeds on the tree and the, and the beetle feeds on the fungus. So it's a very clever system. Um, it's just unfortunate that the fungus can be fatal to trees. Now, how will it affect our trees in the long run? The short answer is at the moment we don't know. Um, and that's why we have to do some clever research on this. We're pretty certain that some trees are going to die, and that's things like Japanese maples and avocados, which seem to be very susceptible to the fungus. Um, But other trees that we know are attacked by the beetle and attacked by the fungus, such as plane trees and oak trees, we're not too sure whether the attack is going to be fatal or not. Because you've got to think of trees like any other organism. They are, to a certain extent, able to defend themselves against pathogens, against disease. And we have to wait and see what the defense system of the tree will do with these, um, with this attack with the beetle and the fungus. What can be done to eradicate the beetle? Now, immediately you use the word eradicate, and that is a very emotional word and is also a completely unreasonable uh, and unattainable objective. And it's an unfortunate part of being a human is that we like to see the kitchen swept clean, um, and we can't do it. You know, we have to accept that we live in a world where we have to pay the price for... um, international trade and we have to pay the price for globalization and this is one of the prices once these organisms whether they are invasive insects invasive weeds or even invasive species of birds get into a country we cannot shift them so we are not going to eradicate this thing that's fairly clear in terms of control and that's a completely different word we're not too sure because obviously chemicals in terms of insecticides and fungicides will work. However, they come with an enormous environmental cost as well. Um, And again, that's a human behavior. We tend to think, right, we can exterminate this organism if we just blast it with something awful like DDT. Well, we haven't managed to exterminate a single insect using any insecticide. Firstly, because we can't get to every individual, and secondly, because insects do evolve resistance to insecticides very, very rapidly. So uh, eradication is not on the cards. Professor Byrne, uh, now which areas of South Africa are currently infested? Again, um, we are not too sure. We know that it was picked up in the botanical gardens in Durban. We know that it is in the Johannesburg region. It's also been found in, a, in Soweto. I think it's been found in Bloemfontein. I think it's been found in Neisner. I think it's been found in George. So it's popping up all over the place. And my prediction, as sucked out of the end of my thumb, but given the, the way that it has appeared in these little flickering lights of distribution across the country, it, I suspect it's going to appear in most of the uh, wetter eastern parts of the country. Um, 
than probably even travelling fairly far west as it's been found in Bloemfontein. The voice there of Professor Marcus Byrne, an entomologist at the University of Witwatersrand. Professor Byrne, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, It's a pleasure and thanks for asking for the information.